Coach Devin here. Let's talk about motivation. Motivation is a hard one. And a lot of people say, you know, Devin, I'm really frustrated because I have a hard time motivating. How do you stay motivated? How do you stay on top of things? And how do you stay wanting to exercise all the time and eating well? Well, this is an interesting situation. There are virtuous cycles and there are vicious cycles in everything you do. And one thing you want to remember about that is you can start on a good path, that's a virtuous cycle, or you can get on a negative one and that's the, the vicious cycle. And it's pretty easy to get on either one of those wheels and get rolling on it. Now, when it comes down to motivation, frankly, everybody needs a reset. No one is able to keep their foot on the gas every day, all day, consistently. I don't know one person that can do that. It's not reasonable to think that. The problem is nowadays, especially in social media, what we see is everybody's like with the hashtag no days off, hashtag I'm a rock star, hashtag I never lose motivation or whatever crazy crap people are putting out there. In reality, guys, it's actually motivation is a little harder than that. Motivation is, it, you can get a little motivation from other people, but really where it comes from is in here. If it's not in here and in your heart, you're not going to want to do it. That's the bottom line. So how do you do that? How do you create that internal drive to do things? Well, one of the biggest things to remember is if you can put 150 minutes a week, which is 2% of your week, 150 minutes a week into some sort of physical exercise routine. And it can be anything. As long as you're doing something, you're getting sweaty, your heart rate's up, all those things, 150 minutes a week, it will substantially change how you how your body is but even more so it changes your head it'll change how you feel about yourself you want to get motivated you need to get on the virtuous cycle right you need to start rolling along on that virtuous cycle best way to do that is to start there's no good time to start exercise and there's no bad time to start exercise there's just times period there are days i'll be very honest i don't feel like exercise there are days that I think, ah, oh, man, this is not what I'm into today. Everybody can exercise on the easy days. When you're feeling good and you want to go and you're like, yeah, today is the day to work out. That's an easy day. That's a simple one. There's no one in the world that can't do that because you feel good. You want to do it. The problem is the bad days are the hard ones to, to jump over, right? It's, it's tough to get by those, but the bad days... If you go on those days, if you do the exercise that you've scheduled on those days, you are much more likely to have many more good days. And that's how this, this virtuous cycle really works. If you want to be motivated on a bad day when you don't want to exercise, exercise. Then you'll feel better. When you feel better, you're more likely to exercise because now you feel good. So you understand it's, it's almost like that chicken and the egg thing. Which one comes first? What comes first is you pulling that Band-Aid off gritting your teeth, and just doing it. That is the trick. You just have to do it. The first time or two, three times, five times, eight times, you do it, it's hard. It's tough. You don't want to. It's just, it's not a lot of fun. Nobody wants to in those first couple times. But then it starts to get easier. And every time, it just gets a little bit easier. It's like stretching. If you never stretch, you get super tight. When you stretch a little bit, you feel like, oh, okay, maybe I'm getting somewhere, I don't know. And next thing you know, you're 40 days in, 50 days in, and guess what? Now you're much more flexible and you think, wow, how did that happen? Well, how it happened was you just consistently did it every day. The thing about life in general is if you do something consistently, you get better at it and you start to enjoy it more. The hardest thing for people is to get by the mental headspace of saying, I need to be feeling it. I want to feel like I want to do it before I go do it. It actually is that. That's completely the wrong way to think about it. In reality, what you want to think is, I need to say, I have to do this. This is important to me physically, so I live longer and I feel good, and mentally because my mood will be much elevated and I will feel good. I want to feel good. I don't know anybody out there that doesn't want to feel good. If Now, maybe there is, and if you want to comment, go, Devin, I just would like to feel like crap every day. Okay, I get you, I feel you, you're allowed to. But I would hazard a guess that most people want to feel good day in, day out. That's what people want to do. So if you want to feel good, you have to have a couple of those days on the front end where you don't feel like doing it, and then you do it anyway. 
That's how things get done. If you want motivation, guys, the motivation comes from within, and the motivation is about how to say, I want to feel better, and I know if I do this, I will feel better afterwards. There's never a person, I've never one time, I promise you, in my 26 years of being a trainer, that anybody said to me after a workout, man, that sucked, I wish I hadn't done that. No one ever says that. That's because you, it, it is good for you. You enjoy it. When it's done, you go, yeah, I feel accomplished. That was fantastic. I feel good now. I'm happy. I'm happy I did it. All those things. This is how it works. So, yes, it's hard. Some days are tough. But you know what, guys? Every, everything in life, sometimes it's tough. Sometimes being a parent's tough. Sometimes going to work is tough. Heck, for some people, sometimes having a shower is tough. I would imagine. I don't know. I, I don't mind showers. But you, know, you, you get the point. Not everything is easy. And when the going gets tough and you don't feel like it, that's the best time to do it. Just go do it because if you do it consistently on those days, then guess what? You get more good days. And the more good days you have, the easier it is to do it. Virtuous cycle. And when now we're rolling and you're feeling good and you're happy. That is my trick for motivation. Learn to do it yourself because you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anybody else. Your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, kids, whatever. Yeah, it's all good to have you know altruistic reasons, but you're doing it for yourself so you feel good. If you want to feel better, just go do it. Just go do it. Once you've done this video, check out the description down below. I've got some great free PDFs. Have yourself an amazing day. Go get a workout in. Don't fight the awesome.